hello guys thanks for joining me for another video I have turned my volume and my microphone up as loud as possible I hope it's not too loud but anyway I wanted you guys to be able to hear me last time I was getting over a cold actually I'm still getting over the same cold it takes a lot longer for me to get uh, well these days but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and go through the last of my uh, stash from the Simple Stories 24-7 collection. These are the last two photos that I have of the photo shoot of my daughter. Um, and I printed them out in two different sizes. Um, this one that we're looking at that I'm actually going to use is a three and a half by a three and a, uh, three and a half piece of uh, photo. And so um, here I'm just layering the papers that I have that background chevron paper is a darker chevron um, it's from the Neapolitan collection um, here I had a piece of scrap paper that looked like a stamp and it reminded me of the yellow chevron paper that I used in the other two layouts so that's why I decided to go ahead and put that um, in the very back um, of the layout to start out the the um, scrapbooking process um, so once I get that laid out, I'm going to layer the black pleat piece on top of it. And I'm just trying to figure out what size, what side that I want it to go on. Um, as far as if I wanted to hang off a little bit or not, then I am going to get my... Uh, chevron piece now this is a lighter chevron piece and I didn't like those polka dots so that's why I didn't use that side but I used this side and I'm gonna cover up that typewriter because I felt like it was a lot older um, and I wanted this layout to be a little more playful so I just covered that up with a yellow piece of uh, chevron paper that I had cut into a tag and now I'm ready to start laying down my photos. And now that I have my photo um, adhered to the paper, I decided I wanted to make them um, like cattle corner them a little bit. And they're going to lay on top of one another in like a diagonal uh, shape or a diagonal way on the layout. And then I had another tag that I had cut out from this collection and I decided to put it in the back and I only want the top part so I just clipped it off of there to put that tag um, there on the top and then once I layered that on there I am going to take the other pieces that I had cut apart it was like a little strip and I'm just gonna lay that across the bottom of the layout and I moved my layout this time. Last time I hear something on top of my layout. That was so crazy of me. I have that um, like graph paper from Close to My Heart. It's like a big old long sheet of paper that I could use. I, I sometimes forget I have it. So now what I'm doing is I'm um, tucking another tag that I had cut out from the yellow chevron paper under the bottom. And then I'm going to take this tag that I had cut apart as well from the collection. And I'm just going to add that to the side. And then I had this little piece uh, that I cut into like a ribbon. It was like red polka dot paper. And I cut it into a ribbon. And so I wanted that to stick off the side. I was looking at the brads. I really wanted to use them. I chose this uh, Dream Big because it was shaped in, a, in like a ribbon shape I didn't know exactly where I wanted to put it so I put it over there because both of them were ribbon shapes and I thought maybe that would look better there and um, here I have one of those uh, speech bubbles that I had cut out before and I'm just gonna layer a whole bunch of speech bubbles over here this camera it did have snapshot on it but I had cut the snap off so it just has shots and a in the camera so I thought everybody could read in between the lines anyway and then so I layered another speech bubble 
um, on there and then I layered the heart speech bubble on there now I'm trying to figure out where I want to put this hexagon um, I'm thinking I'm gonna make it a part of my title so my title is too cute I'm gonna use the number two that I cut from one of the die cuts and then I'm going to use the Marquise letters to write the title and then once I make the title on this little plastic sheet I'm gonna go ahead and um, commit to it and put it onto my layout I just wanted to see what it looked like before a lot of scrappers on here use wax paper I just use some of the packaging that I have close to me. I've been I actually I have been shopping around looking for me a clear ruler. I would like to get a clear ruler cuz it would help me with my stickers and also my um you know, laying down my title straight. So, now I just poked a hole in to add the Brad and the Dream Big um die cut. And now I'm just looking at the brads to see which ones I want to add and which ones I, um, where I want to put them on the page. After I actually finished the page, I had a hard time because over the, the top of the picture is nothing there. It was really empty. So I have a real big problem with empty space when I have a layout. But after I looked at it a while, it turned out really cute and so I was satisfied with it. So right there what I did was add some adhesive to that dream bead because it was like flying away on the page. And here I'm actually going to add like a larger brad. Um but I'm going to actually change my mind and I'm going to put a different brad there. And so now what I'm doing is I added those three brads and then I decided I was going to pick up my enamel dots. And I like to add those to the page as well. And I thought I was going to be done with it. But like I said, I had a really big problem with that empty space above the yellow tag. So I am going to try to uh, move things about. I thought maybe I should add some enamel dots over there where um, the little card was with the ribbons and then I decided not to I'm covering up my paper really well because la I mean my pictures really well because last time I added my sprinkles I ended up um, getting them on my picture so this time I'm doing it I'm trying my best to watch how I'm using my sprinkles uh, to stay away from my to stay away from my um, photos. And now I'm adding the pretty in pink, or I think it's just pretty pink, and the dewy is the, um, is the two inks that I use because they went perfectly with this collection. So once I finish that, that's gonna complete the layout for me guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you guys so much for joining me and you have a great day. Oh, I thought I was done. Here's where I actually change um, the layout. You guys are going to see the pictures for it. So anyway, that's it. You guys have a great day. Bye.